Portland is lucky because, again, there's the publishers, but there's also, you know, a couple really good retailers, too. And you go to a store like Excalibur over in Southeast Portland, and if you go there on a Wednesday, New Comics Day, it's like you're going to run into half the people that we're talking about because they all go there. There's other cities I like, but I could stay here the rest of my life and be very happy. I love it. I mean, I'm here. I love it. I don't want to move anywhere else. In Portland, I think it's easier to have comic events and alternative kind of comic conventions and ways of getting comics to people and displaying comics to people. So I see things in Portland getting more creative. I see more comics flooding Portland, more comic artists maybe moving here and putting out their own things. Places like Portland are probably going to be where the diversity and the creativity and the boom of self-published comics will start. I mean, this is definitely sort of a, a gathering space for people to live and work and create, um, but also, more importantly, for publishers to exist. I mean, Dark Horse is one of the last publishers, the independent publishers, that emerged during the 80s to still be around. Most of the others are gone. Dark Horse Comics started out here, and I think that helped. That started drawing people here. You can work at Dark Horse, you know, and put out, I don't know what they put out, Batman or something. Dark Horse has some licenses that it puts out, things like Star Wars, you saw Yojimbo, things that are, I guess, a bit more recognizable. But uh, by and large, they put out some really good stuff. I'm an editor at Dark Horse Comics. Right now I'm editing uh, Blade of the Immortal, which is a Japanese monthly, and I'm editing Super Manga Blast, which is an anthology featuring Japanese comics, or manga as they're more popularly known. It was started by Mike Richardson, who's always been a fan of comics. He started a chain of comic book stores and kind of became disillusioned with what was currently on the market. So he started his own company. I guess his main mission as a comic book company is to provide a home for creator-owned works where artists can feel you know, safe knowing that they will always own the characters they created. They will always own the physical work that they've, they've created. And its, it's mission probably is also to um, be a company that provides a diverse line of books from um, the manga that we license from Japan to um, the licensed products from TV and movie arena. Dark Horse has been publishing manga for about a decade. It's a, it's a dream job. I, I love it. An editor deals with like so many things behind the scenes, dealing with phone calls from creators whose checks aren't there, and trying to deal with accounting, to dealing with the more creative issues too. That's probably the hardest part, is you know, being the middleman, being kind of a weird middleman and working for both the artist and for the company, and trying to make the best possible situation for both. I think our relationships with um, our Japanese sister companies will continue to get stronger. You'll see a lot more Japanese works translated for the American market. You'll probably see a lot more Dark Horse products becoming live action or animated films because that's something that we do intend to continue to pursue.